Hello, my name is Dr. Jumana Yusuf Haji. I am the ECMO program director at Fortis Hospitals Mulund. Fortis has started a new department dedicated to ECMO. ECMO means extracorporeal membrane oxygenation, which is actually an equivalent to an artificial lung. Our body consists of the heart and the lung complex which together meets the entire body's oxygenation demands for metabolism. If I don't meet this oxygenation demand, then the body gets its energy from anaerobic or non-oxygen methods which causes an increase in acid as well as uh, uh, toxins in the body which causes all the organs to shut down. The heart-lung together work in sync. The heart pumps the blood while the lung oxygenates the blood and then the heart takes that oxygenated blood and pumps it to all the rest of the organs the vital organs being the brain, the kidney, the liver and your peripheries and muscles, the skeletal system. There are certain instances where suddenly the heart stops. It can be a cardiogenic shock because of coronary blockage or it can be due to some toxins like a drug overdose or it can be due to electrical dysfunction of the heart. All it, all it, or it can be a viral infection which is causing the heart function to absolutely stop or become very depressed. Usually our heart works at 75% EF or ejection fraction. So 75% force it will use to propel this blood to the rest of the body. When this kind of failure scenarios happen, it, the EF of the heart or the ejection of the heart drops to maybe below 20%. In such conditions, the body does not receive adequate oxygen because of which it goes into a shock-like state and the kidney, liver, brain start failing. What we need to do in this scenario is diagnose what is the issue with the heart and help it recover. This becomes time bound. Sometimes it is a reversible cause which is causing the heart to have a problem. Sometimes it is a cause which needs an intervention like a bypass surgery or an angiography. Sometimes it just needs time in case of viral myocarditis where you are just waiting for the disease process to pass. This time required for diagnosis and treatment can be from 48 hours to 7 days to 12 days. In this scenario, we need to do the function of the heart so that we can allow the heart to repair and rejuvenate or to give the person a chance to replace this heart. The rejuvenation part needs only 6 to 7 days to allow a sick organ to heal. ECMO comes into play in this case. ECMO is a machine which is very similar to a cardiopulmonary bypass machine which is used in operations on the heart. But it is a smaller machine which can be used for a longer period of time in ICU while the heart is recovering with or without intervention. Where if, you, if the person comes in the correct window where the other organs have not gotten very badly impacted, the, heart, the lungs, the kidney, the brain are still functional but the patient's blood pressure is dropping rapidly and the anaerobic or the without oxygen metabolism toxins are just beginning to build up and if you put this patient on ECMO in the correct window, then the rest of the organs will get very good oxygenated blood by the ECMO pump and will get enough blood, oxygenated blood to not go into failure. This takes away the load from the heart. Can we achieve this without uh, an ECMO machine? 
sometimes we can with a lot of medications which squeeze the peripheries to bring all the blood into the central compartment so that the brain kidney liver doesn't hurt but this causes toxin build up in the peripheries so ultimately only with medication we may not be able to keep the body stable till the heart recovers sometimes to achieve this uh, stability on ecmo it is important that the patient is offered the technology in the correct window this window would be when the body is getting impacted in spite of maximal medication due to low oxygen because the pump mechanism of the heart lung combined is not achieving its goal but it is not gone into frank failure yet this window is important if the body has gone into frank failure and the liver kidney and brain has shut down then it is a very late window then the chances of saving this patient becomes very less the window for uh, the failure onset can be as small as half an hour to 45 minutes and maximum 4 hours after which definitely irreversible damage will happen when the patient has a failing heart and lung complex this is the window we need to catch to put the patient on ecmo and hence the appeal that if a young vital person in your family is suffering from a sudden catastrophic event please choose a hospital which can offer you the best intensive care leading to if required ecmo care thank you